Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. Now, you know, we got a new season, right? Let's, you know, chime in on one of the teams. You know, keep my eye on always the uh, Pelicans, right? Because, simple fact, you know, three Lakers left there. You know, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, right? You can't have that. We're going to see what's going on with them, you know, a little bit. Keep up with them. Last year we did the same thing, you know. Then Zion Williamson comes, to, you know, into the fold. Makes it an interesting team to watch. Uh, but the growth of Brandon Ingram is incredible to watch. Keep your eye on that. It's really, it's really incredible to watch. And especially if you've seen the, the, the three years, how he's, how he's just elevating his game. But we all knew it was going to come. He might take that step going forward. But anyway, before we get into it, I want to just make sure that it's clear. I think that one thing that's wrong with the Pelicans is what's wrong with sometimes in the NBA where the coaches can't make decisions, really. You know, there's things going on in the background. This player has to do this. This player has to do that. Sponsors need to do that. All those things kind of factor into to decisions being made. And I think this is a problem here. Don't know. I'm not an insider. It's just from a fan's perspective. But as somebody that's coached teams, I, when I look at the starting lineup for the Pelicans right now, with Lonzo Ball, Bledsoe, uh, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Stephen Adams, right? From a fan's perspective, it's like that wouldn't happen. No way. No way that would happen. First of all, you got Bledsoe, who's a, really a coast-to-coast -coast guy, right? Not really a threat from the outside. Lonzo Ball, you know, guy sees the floor, pushes the ball up up the court right away, looks puts forward, transition type player, not really a threat from outside, working on his mid-range game right now as we speak, but didn't have one, non-existent, and he's shooting better, but not, we can't call him a threat from there, right? Brandon Ingram is doing it all right now. We will go move on, on straight on to Zion Williamson, not a threat from outside. Neither is Steven Adams. They can pack it in against that lineup. It's ridiculous to even have that. It's ridiculous to even have that lineup right there. Uh, me personally, this is what I would do. Bledsoe, my man, let me talk to you. I want the young guy in there. I'm going to let him go. If I want to transition, I need people running around J.J. Reddick to make sure that people stay honest, right, in the starting lineup. Plus, J.J. Reddick is old as hell. And I want him, once he warm up, to get in there anyway, right? That's it. I want you, when you come in here, you don't need to be running next to Lonzo Ball and running next to people. I don't need that. You're the mini Westbrook, right? I need you doing what you do best and transition. Let's move, right? And I have some people running with you with Hayes running with you and Josh Hart running with you. We're going to be running. Transition baskets. Not only threes here in that second lineup. And I need you to be able to do that. You need the ball to do that. We got Lonzo Ball trying to push the ball up in the starting lineup. If that don't work, we need the ball in Brandon Ingram's hands anyway. Trying to get it down to Zion Williamson, but with Zion Williamson, we better learn how to start going right, or he's going to be having a long night. It's physicality right now, and youth. And he's, you know, he's got some moves, don't get twisted, but he's going to the left way too often. So, and then not a, a threat from the outside. Steven Adams, love the guy. They, you know, somebody you want on your team. Old school. You know what I'm saying? You got to have him. But he's not a threat from the outside. So at the end of the day, you're going to need J.J. Reddick in that starting lineup. Second lineup would be good. So leading that lineup and being able to do what he has to do and don't have to worry about if I come back, we just, they score. We're trying to score fast on the next uh, basket, real quick, transition basket, and me and Lonzo run into the ball. We both run into the ball to get it, then y'all end up up, up court, right? You know, it has to be decisions made. Boom. Matter of fact, in the, in the other lineup, everybody gone already, and here I'm going, right? That's how that would be. That would be more effective, but I'm not sure people can do that in the NBA. I just think the Pelicans be careful because it's a team that you want to watch. It's going to be um, fun to watch. The, the fun, I mean, the thing I'm having the most fun with, obviously, is because I've been riding with them after they left the Lakers. Is Brandon Ingram. That's awesome to watch. Right, what how what he's becoming right in front of your eyes, but also Lonzo Ball who is starting, you can see that he's working on things. The shot is obvious that he's working on that, right? Um, and uh, the other thing he's working on is his mid-range game, right? His mid-range game, he, where he might pull up in the mid-range. That was non-existent. And one other thing, though, he's still having a problem with 
is not finishing the round the rim, right? He's not going to the rim. No one's worried about him going to the rim because they know he's going to try to pass. He's going to have to finish a few times, play aggressive a few times so his passing can remain what it is. But people are obviously, and then when he has to finish, he's going to miss it because he wasn't trying to finish. He's trying to pass it. He has to get that a little bit out of his game. But, uh, you know, people that know more than me are uh, in his ear, I'm pretty sure. But those are things that if you want Lonzo to take that step that he could possibly be giving you 20 and 10 a game, that wouldn't be bad either, now would it? So let's keep an eye on the Pelicans. That's the only thing that I think is a glaring problem for the Pelicans. Uh, they're going to be fun to watch. I'm not making any predictions where they're going to be, but I do think they will make the playoffs. But I want to say that too early because of the simple fact, barring injury. Something happens to Brandon Ingram. No. Right away, no. Right? But um, if everybody stays pretty healthy, if everybody kind of gets minutes, like Hayes, I think he you knows should be getting a few uh, minutes, but he's behind Steven Adams. I understand that. But this, this young kid can do something if you let him play a few minutes, right? And so to see if somebody else might crystallize themselves as, as Pelicans as well. So let's see what happens. That's one team. We'll get to others going forward. But keep your eye on the Pelicans, y'all. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about here, y'all.